Hey, Benny, did you get that job? Get that job? I got a job. Benny, Benny, Benny Bass got a job as an elevator operator. Ooh. For one whole week. You got a job for a whole week? A whole week. Holy moly. That's hey, right. what's that thing on the TV? It's a warning? Hey, says our VCR's gonna get wrecked. Who, who are you making a copy for? I'm making for Aunt Martha. T, you tell Aunt Martha to buy her own Billy Bob video. Well, we better know? stop it because it's gonna blow up. Stop it! Stop it! Stop, stop it! it. Stop it. Yeah, 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 I got it right here. I know it's due next week. I know everything's due next week. But I got, a lot, of, I got a lot of big deals going. Yeah, do you hear about the Macarena? I know I didn't think of the Macarena, but I got a lot of big deals. Yeah, big deals, song, dance, costumes. You know what I do? It's Hollywood Sam's. We got it. Okay? Hey, Sylvia, put an ad in the paper. We got a big deal contest we got to put on. $1,000 prize next week. Songs, dance, costumes, whatever. Okay? Okay, you got it? I'll get you next week. Goodbye. The Sweating with the King exercise video with a free scarf included. Next. A common Miranda, custom made fruit bowl. Everybody's going to want one. Next. Lollipop killed lollipop. Next. Very most try one. Tarzan, bone necklaces. Next. Sunny and Cher wigs. Next. Next. Okay. What do you got for me? I got this song, I got this dance, and I got these teeth. I'll tell you what you got. You got two minutes. Steve Kenton, and I'm going to take you on an incredible journey on how to have fun with your Billy Bob teeth. We're going to go to North Dakota, to Sturgis, to the largest motorcycle event in the world. We're going to see 200,000 Harley Davidson motorcycles. We're going to visit a wrestling match where Hollywood Hogan and Jay Leno wrestle, and we're going to have our own hero there, a dysfunctional two-headed superhero that you're going to meet, and we're going to create him right in front of your eyes. So we're going to take an adventure 
and have fun with our Billy Bob teeth. Now, there's a lot of things we're going to do that I don't recommend that you do. We're going to have extreme fun during this video. And you might get beat up if you try to have this extreme fun. So don't do it. We don't recommend anything in this video. We're just going to do it. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's begin this journey with an interview with Rich Bailey, the inventor of Billy Bob Teeth. I was in dental school and I was in denture class and in denture class your job was to set the teeth in the wax and they want them all in a straight row and they want them all looking very concise and <clears throat> I was bored you know in the second year you're tired of school so I was just sitting there and I just started setting a little bit differently I started setting you know one to the left one to the right and turning one and you know, it looked hilarious and I thought man that looks like I had to name that guy Billy Bob and then I thought, I wonder if anyone's ever made a set of dentures like that. And then all the gears started turning in my head, and I thought, I need to find a way to make myself a set of those teeth and put them in my mouth. So I tinkered around, tinkered around, and got some help from some professors. And before you knew it, I had a set of teeth. And then we just terrorized the town after that. And the first time you put them in, it's, it's amazing how it just changes you. I'll put mine in. They, uh, they say I look like Mel Gibson from the side. What do y'all think? <laughs> and half of it is the way you carry yourself because you gotta, you gotta get that stupid look on your face and you gotta hang your jaw open. And it, it, it just humbles most, most people. They don't know what to do. They're uncomfortable being around you. They don't look you in the eye. Um, I used to go out to um, dental school when I go out to get my... Um, patients out of the waiting room, big waiting room. I go, I go out there. It's, you know, 50, 60 people out there. And I got these <clears throat> things called birth control glasses. I go up there and I just, and I start making those quick head neck movements. And I, I say, Martha, where are you at, girl? We got a root canal to do. Playing hard to get, get you nowhere, girlfriend, you know? And, oh, I just tear, you know, pe people are nervous coming into a dentist in the first place. Oh, I just, I just, uh, terrorize them. Wasn't that a great story? And there are definitely speed bumps ahead. Before we begin our journey though, we're going to teach you how to put your Billy Bob teeth in correctly. And we're also going to show you all the different varieties. Here we go. All right, in order to get a proper fit for your Billy Bob teeth, you'll notice there's holes in the back of the cavity of the Billy Bob teeth. Don't worry about those. That's where the putty goes to when you push it into your mouth and make your indentation. Take your two different types of putty, your gray and your red, and mix them together. If you wash your hands, be sure to get all soap residue off your hands. Soap residue is not good for the putty. Knead it together. After you knead it together, we're going to put it right into the cavity, okay? This is how quickly you can do this. All right, now, you roll it into a Tootsie Roll. Okay, and then we put it into the cavity right here like this. Smooth it on out into the cavity. Get it all nice and smooth. Push it. You might have a little bit come through those back holes. That's okay. Fill the cavity, and then we're going to go up to my mouth, and we're going to put it into my mouth and get a perfect fit. And the way we get a perfect fit is going as close to the teeth line as possible, and watch closely on this shot. Now we're ready to put the bobs in. Notice on this pair that the indentation is made real close to the edge of the Billy Bob teeth. That's important for a proper fit. Go as close to the tooth line as you can. Put them like this, straight up, boom. Now let's put in a pair. Okay, here we go. Straight up. Hold it with your two thumbs like that. Your tongue on the back, don't worry about that putty coming through. If there's some coming through, that's natural. If you have small lips, pull your lip over. Pull your lip over. Hey, look. I'm ready for a night on the town. Now, after about five minutes, which we've waited since we were gone, you pull down, straight down, and you'll have the perfect Billy Bob fit. Okay, remember our slogan, have a ball, collect them all. And uh, what we're going to do here now is tell you about the different types of Billy Bob teeth. 
First of all, let's go with the Jethro, one of my favorites. <laughs> Jethro was a happy guy, so you know, you want to have a happy look? Buy a pair of Jethro's. <laughs> Austin's a pretty powerful guy lately, and if you want to have that powerful feeling of the international spy, groovy baby, groovy, all behave. Now we have Austin's also, you can get Austin to the gold. A little bit retro today, baby. Let's go to that uh, deliverance look. One of them right here has been bugging me a lot lately. You know, it's just been bugging me. You know, if you have problems with your teeth and you have problems with your kids brushing their teeth, I suggest that you put in a pair of deliverance and go up to the kids and say, Have you brushed? Have you brushed lately? If you want to relate to your children, I suggest Billy Bob's with braces. That's right. They do need a little bit of work, don't they? The caveman look, some of the bigger guys look better with the caveman. It's, it's kind of a subtle Billy Bob look. Cletus. That's right. The Cletus has an extra tooth somewhere here. <laughs> the beginning of the company was with the standard bobs. Always a winner. By golly, I just don't understand why when I put these teeth in, they changed my voice. And here's a pair of standard bobs with gold. I feel a little bit richer today, and uh, the stock market recently has been um, quite abrupt. The hound dog, you know, she's feeling a little bit hairy. It's a full moon out. For a special night on the town, there are always the standard. Now, one thing about Billy Bob Teeth. There's one thing I need to tell you. When you put Billy Bob Teeth in, they do change your personality, and there's a couple things that happen. To make your eyes bug out. That's right, to make your eyes bug out and your voice changes. Your voice changes when you put in Billy Bob Teeth, but you don't have to worry because all you have to do is simply take the teeth out and you're fine. All right, folks, in this segment, we're going to show you how to be cool at the public pool. Yeah, we're in the locker room, but remember, we are not responsible for lost or stolen particles, so if you lose your teeth in the locker room, you're out of luck. Here we are at the public pool. Yep, and... Uh, that looks like a good place over there to lay my towel. That would... Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am, could you help me uh, put this cream on? Maybe I need some help. I really would appreciate it. It's my back. My back. It's hard to get my back. It must be the cream smells or something. You know, I don't understand it. You know, just ask for a little help. I can do it. I've been having trouble here. You know, I was wondering, you know, I've been trying to get somebody to put this on my back. Uh-huh. You know, you just make you want to rub it in? What about you? How about you just rub it in just a little bit here? You know, yeah, top. sure. I will. Why not? Okay, stop. I knew I'd get somebody to do it. It's about time, you know. It's about time. A little bit of respect. Oh, 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 you can have a Merry Christmas like this. Now let's visit the Ohio State Fair. Take a little trip with the Sons of Bob through the carnival and talk to some twins at the Twins Convention. 
Yeah, we're here at the Ohio State Fair. Uh, we're at, uh, there's a twin convention going on, and uh, we're uh, interviewing, is it? Lisa. Lisa. Lisa's here with us, and she has her twin. Her twin name is? Louise. Louise. Louise is here, and we're interviewing both twins, you know, to see, you know, the differences in personalities and things like that. Well, why, why don't you go get Lisa, and we'll talk to her. Louise. Wait, Louise, Louise is definitely the furrier twin. You know, Lisa was cute, but there's just something about Louise. Yes, we're here at the Ohio State Fair and we're testing out a new pharmaceutical drug that's just been approved by the FDA. That's right, and it is called the Billy Bob, the Billy Bob Peel. It will take a normal human being and change him into a superior human being, a, a Billy Bob human being. That's right. Sir, 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 can I talk to you, sir? Uh, Listen, yeah, yeah, I was wondering if maybe you wanted what to get in. Well, I was wondering. Well, what? What's this? Um, yeah? I'd like to improve your intelligence, oh. sir. I mean, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. You seem to be a little bit light. You know, I have this pill here that will improve your intelligence and also your looks, sir. You know, would you like to have improved looks and improved intelligence? Sure, yeah, sure. It Sounds doesn't, good cost, to me. It doesn't yeah. cost a thing. It will only last for a day, but at least for one day, you'll know what it feels like to be a king. Oh, okay, I'm willing to try well, it. Here Sounds you go, sir. Well, okay. It, 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 it takes, take it takes effect immediately. It's a little bit of a, a reaction sometimes, you know. Kind of makes you bend over a little bit. You know, maybe gives you some... Well, it takes a few seconds. No, I don't, I don't notice anything. I just... Well, folks, he does... He, well, here it goes, folks. This, this, this is nice, isn't it? Just a, just a little bit of pain to get so much pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Hi there. I'll see you. Well, I do feel better. You're right. You're damn right. I do feel better Take already. A look, folks. I'll be damned. Hey. You want to find my corn dog here? I didn't it's know the it. the best I damn did. corn dog I ever had. I, it, it makes corn dogs appear. <laughs> it comes complete with I love this. Your hair looks better, sir. It's a darker color. You got a more youthful look. I thank you so much. Now thank the glasses. you for letting me come by and try this pill, Mister. I'm a changed man. He is. Thank a, you. Well, you know your name was Gary before, but for the next day we're just gonna call him King. I feel like a king with the new Billy Bob pill. Thank you for letting me come by. That's okay. I gotta go. I want to show my family how okay. good I look Let's, now. Hey, see, folks. See, We've got another set of twins here, a dynamic duo. Uh, this is uh, Ray. Is that, that, that your name, Ray? Yes, sir. And uh, your uh, brother's name is? Rufus. Rufus. And I see. And uh, so you were uh, Ray and Rufus roofing. Was that what it was? Yes, it was. Ray and Rufus roofing. I was talking to Rufus a little bit uh, ago. He said he was the more intelligent of the two twins. Well, he likes to think so, but uh, he's actually more the the goof off. You think Rufus is a goof off? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to see. Is that is that Rufus over there? Yes. Well, could you go get him for me? All right. Okay. Well, this is Rufus. Now, Rufus, your brother Ray said you weren't the most intelligent of the two twins. Oh, yes, well, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely the most intelligent of the two. You're the one that figures out most of the roofing jobs, yep. I take it. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Do That's all right. the mathematical stuff. Uh, yep, yep. He just, he just sits standing there to look good, try to collect the money. Try to, well, he collects the money. Maybe he is the smarter one if he collects the money. <laughs> well, I, I do all the work. You do all the work, he collects the money. Rufus, let me talk to you about smart. You know, <laughs> you know. I, I don't know. I don't want to hurt your feelings, Rufus. But if you're doing all the work, he's collecting all the money. He might be the smarter twin. Well, I, don't know, I might have to talk to him about that. We're here with Anne, Anne and your uh, twin's name is Nancy. Twin's name is Nancy. In fact, there she is, right there. Will you, can you tell her to come on? Okay. Why don't you go get her and have her come on okay. over here? We'll talk to her about this. Well, Nancy, 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 mm -hmm. you know, your sister lied to me. She wouldn't do that. Well, she did. She told me that she was the better looking one of the two of you. 
Oh, is that right? That's what she told me. Wow. But now that I see you in person, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know she wasn't telling the truth. <laughs> you were a fox. I'm t <laughs> it's incredible here. You know, I've heard about stewardesses before, but you are the top of the cake. Uh, here we are at the twin convention again with uh, Paul. Yes, sir. And Paul, uh, what is your twin's name? Peter. 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 Paul. <laughs> well, here comes Peter. Peter. Peter, how you doing? How do I'm doing fine. Well, you're doing fine. You know, uh, this is uh, this was of course Paul's brother. You just met Paul. He's with Peter and Paul, kind of like a. Do you do any music? Oh, we sing duets. You sing. Duet. Du duet. Gospel duets. Gospel duets. I see you. Oh, and uh, how long have you been a group? Oh, uh, let's see. I've been born 19 years ago, and I think Paul was uh, 18. He was a little slow coming. Now, wait a minute. You know, you're twins. Yep. Almost identical, but I'm the better looking one. Well, that's, there's no question that. I can uh, see that yeah. myself. Now, you know, the, the thing that bothers me is you're saying you were born like almost a year apart, but you're twins. Yeah, Mom hated it. She hated it. It was a, that's a labor of love. That was a labor. That was a labor of love. Well, yeah, well, that's what we call a, as we call a, what do they call it? That, that's labor. He was coming late. The Madcap Adventures of Sons of Bob. The two-headed dysfunctional superhero. They put the fun back in dysfunctional. Remember, FDIC. Batman is not included. He's Billy. He's Bob. And together we are Sons of Bob. You guys are great! You never will. This is it. Well, we, uh, wow. Actually, we were, uh, we were at Thanksgiving dinner, and uh, we had a wishbone, and uh, we were doing, I said that saying that two heads are better than one, and uh, I said that. Pulled. I said that. Well, I was at the same time, that was a problem. We pulled that wishbone, and boom! My God, it happened. Sons of Bob. We are united to fight evil. That's right, we're united to fight evil. I have my dung disc here. This is my dung disc. Anybody give me a hard time? Whammo. We dung disc them. That's right. To Billy and Bob. To Billy and Bob. To Sons of Bob. To Sons of Bob. To Sons of Bob. That's darn good. I got a cold headache. Oh. Woo! I got a cold headache. Oh. 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 Oh, I got a cold headache. Oh. Do you feel it? I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> One, please. Here you go. Thank you. We're the sons of Bob. Hey, Billy. He's Bob, and together, together we are Sons of Bob. Bob. Are you always together like that? Well, most of the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Once in a while, I go out, and he follows me. Okay. You know, and that's the I way it is. he can't help you. Hurry up, join it. Wow. You're united to fight thank evil. You, hey, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Here's <laughs> There's a lot of weirdos. Yeah. Yeah, we're joined together to fight evil. Woo! Woo! Oh, hands up. Hey, man, watch me. Watch me. Whoa! That son's a bomb. Hey. Excuse me, do you guys know where the double bungee is? Come on, Oh, man. Do you need to be saved? You, is anybody evil bothering you? Now there is. <laughs> there wasn't before. I know. Get it real hot. Come on, man. Higher! <laughs> Higher! Oh. 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 
lost your high scores. Yeah. Mom well, feels so good now. Oh, dude. All right! Woo! Thank you! The first car to the top of the pole will get the prize. The winner every time we race. Come on in, get the prize. She said we don't have a butt. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing really? later? Uh, oh. working. Hey, I'm busy. I got a date well, I'm now. not busy. Oh, he's got a date, Steve. Nah, but I'm, I'm now, not busy. I got plans well, tonight. I don't, I'm hey. sorry. I don't like to share. You don't, well, he, no. he won't, no, that's, he'll sleep. No, yeah, well, okay, No, we'll just listen, go out. We go to a movie and he can sit behind us. How is he going to sit behind I us? I can do this. So you are really, really got a messed up looking face. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you're scaring me, Taco. Well, you're a real bad ventriloquist. <laughs> Shit is scaring me, Taco. <laughs> You, you, your mouth is moving. This whole day is scaring me, Taco. <laughs> man, that sons of Bob's, man. That was a weird little scene there, man. Well, I don't know. That scares me. I see those two heads in that one thing, and, man, I get ready to run and tell you that. Hi. Here we are in the Canton home, and this is my daughter, Danielle, and my son, Christopher. And unbeknownst to Danielle, uh, would somebody get that? Um, unbeknownst to Danielle, uh, we're going to play a trick on her, uh, new boyfriend, Matt. That's right. Uh, Danielle, is that okay with you? Not really. Okay. Christopher, you want to help me? Sure. Okay. Christopher's going to help me. Danielle doesn't want us to do it, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay? So here we go. In this gag, we use three hidden cameras. One in the bushes, one in the tree, and one inside the door. Pick up Danielle. Uh, have you ever met my dad? Nope. Well, you gotta meet him before you go out with him. Go out with Danielle. Okay. Um, he's really very nice and you'd be nice to back to him, right? Dad! Yeah, y'all. What are you all about? Uh, I'm here to pick up Danielle. What's your name? Matt. You got a name? Matt Schultz. Matt Schultz. What race is that? That's, a uh, Caucasian. Now, you're a smart boy, aren't you? I try. No, I mean smart in the way of A, smart A. Uh, no, sir, not at all. I think so. Uh -uh. Where are you going tonight? Uh, we're going to see a movie, The Mummy. Who's Mummy? Egypt's Mummy. Egypt? You going to smart me again, boy? No, sir, not at all. What time are you planning on having her home? She'll be home about 10, 10.30. 10, 30. As soon as the movie gets out. What time the movie get out? I think he gets out of time. What are you going to do between 10 and 10.30? Drive from the movie theater back here. Yeah, where it only takes about 10 minutes. What are you going to do in that 20 minutes when you got nothing to do? I'm, I promise she'll be home before, after 10. Right after the movie gets over, we'll bring, I'll bring her right home. Yeah, well, I'm going to be here. I'm going to have my clock going, okay. and it's going to be going. And if you're not here at 10.30, boy, yeah, I'll tell you what will happen. I tell you what'll happen. Do you know what happened to the last guy that got home late with my daughter? What's the matter, boy? You nervous? You know? What's the matter? Something bothering you? you? Look a little nervous. No, I'm not uncomfortable at all. I'm, I'm okay. Uh... You know, I don't like nervous boys. You know, I like boys that are strong. Strong boys, you know? Boys take my daughter out, maybe, you know, she go out with a man. You know, you're kind of like a, a wuss. I'm not a wuss, sir. I, uh, I lift weights every day. You just have her back here when you're supposed to, son. You got that? Got that? If you, you know what's gonna happen to you if you don't get her home? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you something. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a, a pair of these teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're a good sport. You guys have a good time tonight. We will, thank you. Okay. If you want to have fun with Billy Bob Teeth, and I know you do, that's why you bought this video, just simply ask stupid questions. Hey, I need some directions to my house. Excuse me, uh, do you know where, in the, where I can find some dental floss in the store? Excuse me, excuse me, what's my name? I'd also like to recommend that when you're in the sporting goods department that you might want to ask this question. Excuse me. Where are the bullets? You also might want to remember that when you're coming through a drive-through, 
a drive through they really can't see you until you pull up to the window. So what you want to do is you want to cause a ruckus. So you can go to a, you know, a Best Buy or one of those music land places and get yourself uh, a sound effects uh, CD that makes the sound effects of a bunch of kids and babies screaming and all sorts of weird noises, even like zoo animals and things like that. And crank that baby up, you know, just all sorts of wild noises. You can also have the family get in on this and have them make all sorts of wild noises while you're trying to give them that order, you know. And uh, then when you pull up to that window, you know, they're all going to be uh, a staring to see who's in there. <coughs> You ever been on vacation and have somebody come up and ask you to take their picture? Well, put your Billy Bobs in and try this. Hey, hey, excuse me, could you take, could you take our picture? Sure. Could you take take sure. our picture? Could you stand over here? In this take a picture gag, we used a disposable camera with a flash. Most people have a hard time using those. I also move my head every time he gets ready to snap the picture. This drives him crazy. Try it. It's fun. Have you ever taken a picture before? You know, we just want you to take our picture, okay? Let's come here. Chris, Christopher, where are you? Oh, all right, here you are. Come on over here. Okay. Okay. Why? All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? One, two, three. Oh. Look at the camera when yeah. I say three. Okay, three. Snap One, it. Just, two. Just snap it. Snap the picture. Hey. Do you know how to use that? You gotta push on the flash. You want me to take a good picture? Just be quiet here a second. You gotta push on the flash. You know? Okay. One, two. Are you messing with me or what? Just look at the camera. I'm looking at the camera. Three, smile. Well, I'll, I'll three, close your mouth. <laughs> hey, hey, you're a funny guy. I asked you to take a picture. I didn't ask you to critique me. <laughs> no, no, you listen, you got the job, buddy. Look, no, no, come on, take the picture. Just take the picture. I'll be, you know, take the picture. No, no, you take the picture. You got the camera. Did the flash go? No, the oh, flash didn't go. Man, I'll tell you what. Are you retarded, sir? Are you retarded? You got to hold the button here, you know. There. You got to hold the button. Then you get somebody else to do this, you know. No, 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 listen. Why don't you just try to use your brain a little bit? All right. You know? All right. Could you just do it one push the button? Push the button. Take the picture. Take the picture down. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey! Yay. What do you know? Maybe we should give you a word. Hey, You're Spike happy. Boy. Look. Anybody ever tell you about I'm your hair? You a favor, your hair is pretty weird. You know? Huh, Spike Boy? <laughs> Let me take a picture of you, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now, this is what we call the salad trick. For this trick, you don't have your teeth in, but you do have your teeth. Salad, please. Here's your salad, sir, and dressing on the side. Important. Order the dressing on the side with this particular gag because after you receive your salad what you need to do is this pick up a tomato cucumber whatever take your teeth and put them underneath here like this into the salad and then call on that wait person again and say excuse me excuse me um i seem to have found something in my salad here, can you uh, tell me, what is this? And you'll be surprised. I mean, it'll be funny, funny, funny. Now, as soon as the wait person starts to apologize and is taking your salad away with your teeth in it, you have to say, whoa, 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 and you stop them, grab the teeth, put the taste in, Take a little piece of salad and say, hey, you know what? I think it's going to be okay. Woo! Okay, this is the elevator scene. You know, you ever have an elevator open up and somebody weird is on it and you really don't want to get on there with them? Well, I have a friend that has a business and he's let me set up a camera over there 
and there's uh, what we call lipstick ca lipstick camera is right up here. A lipstick camera is a little teeny camera that they can't see, so we'll have a camera inside too. You won't get the view of everything, but we're going to have some fun here. And this elevator isn't used very much, so we're going to have to keep going up and down. But we're going to get somebody sooner or later, and uh, we're going to we're going to have some fun in the elevator. That's right. We're going to have some fun in the elevator. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. good. Basement. Hi. Basement. <laughs> Come on, lady. We're, we're we'll wait. wait. Thanks. We'll wait. Thanks. No, no, that's okay. No, we're, no we got to wait no, for somebody. We're okay. I'll see you later. Room Thanks. In here. Okay, it was a freak boy in the elevator. Help me out. I have no idea. What's hey. going on? Freak hey. boy in the elevator. Someone I don't know. We told me to wait. So. We don't have anybody in there. Why are you in the elevator? He's like, first floor basement. No idea who it was. He was like, really scary. I don't know. We're going to get ready to go lunch. Did you want to do anything or anything? Sure. Yes, Basement. Ba Hi, lady. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm the new operator. We, we, don't, we don't have an operator. Elevator operator. Yeah, operator. yeah, you do now. Hey, whoa, whoa, lady. Whoa, whoa. I'm not a very good operator. We can yeah, tell. Yeah, that's you know, great. If you just, we'll get the next one. Get in. Get in, lady. No, that's okay. Bill Bass. Whoa, whoa. We'll get we'll get it. It. Yeah. I'm going to hold this button. I'm going to hold this button. Yeah, Bill Bass hired me. He's the uh, yeah. owner of the company, uh -huh. yeah. and uh, you know I'm his cousin. And he said I I could do this job for extra money. So you're gonna money. be on like this elevator the whole time? Yeah, just for a week. Right. You gonna let me run it for Dude, a week? Are you sure you know what you're doing here? Come on okay. in. Okay. Come on okay. in, lady. I gotta get well, upstairs. So. Go. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done this. You know. Okay. Hey, you know what? We're up on the fourth floor. You know, that's we're gonna go all the way down four floors. You know, so yeah. have you ever done that thing where you jump? You know, I got this on stop. <laughs> I know. I've got it on stop just, right now. No, when you go down, when you go jump. down, you jump. You jump. Yeah, and you, that's yeah it kind of makes you go up. You know, you kind of fly. It's I, fun. My kid does it with me all the time. Can you just hit two for me, please? Two. Just two. 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 That's two would be great. Yeah. So yeah. let's go all the way to one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go all the way to one. No. Go all the way to one, and you jump. You get. You go high. How long are you gonna be here for? A week. Go oh, be here great. for a That's week. Good. Can you hit two? How long are you here? I gotta go to the bathroom. Can you hit two? <laughs> okay, two. You yeah. gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, two would Can't be great. Can you go to the bathroom Sorry. in here? What, what was no. your name? No. You what's gotta wait. That's on two. That is on two. The right. bathroom right. is That's, on two. Yeah. Gotta go. You know. Now just remember, Lee, you gotta jump. Okay. You gotta jump. You gotta just jump, okay? You know, here we go. Let's okay, go turn that jump. way and jump. We're going to. <laughs> All right, here so we go. So Bill, Bill hired you, huh? Bill hired me. Okay. Yes, he did. Your Benny. name? What's your name? My name is uh is Benny. 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 Benny or Denny? Be no, I'm Benny Bass. Benny. I'm Benny, Benny Bass. No, Benny. 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 Yeah, Benny. I got it. I got okay. it. You got a little problem with your speech there. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. no. my. It's all my fault. Yeah. yeah. It is. No. But did you hit two? No. I mean, I, no four. You know, four. Oh, excuse me. We're on four. We're on four. Okay, we're going to do two. Two, that's two. Like one, two. There we go. I had it turned off. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That was the problem. Just kind of hot here when it comes down. It's your first day. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay. <laughs> oh, just just having a little fun with my Billy Bob teeth. Whoa! You'll notice that uh, a person that looks totally normal, a person that looks totally normal when they put their teeth in, as you can see, now all of a sudden this man looks strange. Before, strange totally normal, now strange. Wow! This is Hillbilly Central here, and uh, today at Surgeon, South Dakota, we are interviewing Jethro, the world's only human billy goat. How you doing, Jethro? Very good. Now, Jethro, I've been noticing uh, one particular part of a, of a dentivorous cavitation on your outfit, and what can you tell me about uh, some of the best capers you can pull with a good set of chompers? Well, first of all, my grazing has improved a whole lot since I got these things. Uh, I can pretty much get right down and cut the grass off almost at the ground. We take our belly bob teeth seriously here at Surgeon, South Dakota. <laughs> Come on, Iron Jay! Kick Hollywood Hogan! <laughs> Sons of Bob! 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 You know, we are the sons of Bob. We have united to fight evil, and we challenge anyone from the N-double-O. We have our magic rubber chickens. When we put these in our mouths, I, 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 we gain the power of thousands. Hollywood Hogan doesn't stand a chance. No one stands We're a chance. We're here to help Leno out. That's right, and then costs. Leno doesn't stand a chance against us either. No, we're getting a nearby competition with anybody. That's right, we've got the power of teeth. The power of Billy Bob teeth. And we challenge anyone, anyone. Woo! 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 Nadine, Nadine, I love you. I love you, Nadine. I didn't that know that video you. over again. Oh, oh, oh. oh. telephone for me. Well, thank you there. Hello, it's Jubal. No, it's Jubal. 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 Who is he? Who you want to talk to? Benny. Benny's right here. You want to talk to Benny? Benny's here. I Benny, telephone for you, buddy. Tell you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the elevator operator. Man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's about, yeah, that's what he told me. He told me I'd make some contact. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can do it. Well, sure. I'd love to. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll be right down. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. What was that all about? Well, you know those ladies in the elevator? Yeah, we saw in the video. Yeah, that yeah, was a long video. Man. Yeah, it was good, though. Yeah, it was Parts of it were Got good. Got our money's worth. Parts of it were good. Yeah. And the parts of it were kind of weird. Well, you I know? kind of fell asleep on those parts. Yeah, well, I fell asleep. Uh, you know, hey, it, I got a job, man. You got a, a, well, a, new, a new job. Not the elevator operator. Those ladies in the elevator got me a contact with this guy named Hollywood Sam. Hollywood Sam? Yeah, he had a big deal contest. And some guy, you know, in fact, it had to do with the Billy Bob teeth. They want me to be a host like a QVC host. You mean like Bob like a, Barker? Like a QVC host. Oh, QVC. On the Billy Bob Port Sale. My God, lucky doggy. Yeah. Hoo-hoo. 
Holy I moly. You, I tell you, I'm going to be on the Billy Bob Port sale. I am the host, the premier host of the Billy Bob Port sale. Well, it's good for you, man. Hey, Jubilee, you know, maybe if you're lucky, I'll let you be on it. You let me be on it? Yes, If I'm by good? Yeah. Holy man, you know what that means? Means you're just going to pay me just a little bit. Okay, well, you know, I don't have to. If I get a job with you being a, a what do you call that, a side kicker? I can kick you. Okay. That means I don't have to go out and milk that bull anymore. Well, I know. That'd be good, too, because, you know, you don't get paid enough to do that. Well, you know, Uncle Jethro told me to go milk the bull, and he was laughing all the time, and I couldn't figure out why he was laughing, boy. Would you ever try to milk a bull? You want any of this popcorn? I, I don't have any. I got all my popcorn right here. Hey, man, there's popcorn everywhere, you know. So when are you going to do it? Where is that little uh, Benny, Benny Jr.? You know, he's got a lot. Hey, Benny! Benny Jr. Benny Jr. Benny Jr. What are you doing over there, boy? I can't even see you. Come here. You know what the heck you doing here, boy? Sit down here in my lap. You're never too old to, to, to sit on your daddy's lap, you know? You know? And I don't want you wearing this shirt anymore. Son, I told you, what kind of people are a bad influence, you know? Oh, my God. You got to hang around with your know, role models here like yeah, Jubal. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know? You gotta be hanging around with Jubal more often. I think I'll teach him. Yeah, he'll teach you how to milk that bull. Yeah. Okay. 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 You wanna okay. come with me? Okay. 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 Go ahead. Go. You guys go milk right. the bull. Go milk I the gotta bull. practice being a host. Man, are you lucky dog? <laughs> well, it looks like him coming right now. Hey, Benny Bass. You come highly recommended by the ladies in the elevator. Glad to meet you. I'm Hollywood Sam. Hey, Lil. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you, sir. Well, here's what you got. <laughs> good luck and break a leg. Break a leg? Break a leg? What do you mean, break a leg? That's kind of a mean thing to say. To... Well, anyway, I'll get started. Okay, folks, here we are at the port sale. That's right. Item number one is on the list here is called Weird Sprinklers. Hey, take a look. We got the farmer. He's just a working all like crazy, man. And, and the fisherman. And uh, here's a cowboy. And oh boy, a frog. And, and a bull. And a, and a cow. And a fireman. And, and take a look at that pig. And, and they're all durable. They're hand painted. These pieces of water sprinkler art. There's a big hit in the neighborhood. Order now, $39.95. It, it's raining. It's raining. It's raining again. It's probably a customer. Hello? Yeah? Jubal? Hey, it's Jubal. <laughs> How's the show going, Jubal? Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. Got them little numbers going on top of the screen there. See that? I, saw, I think I sold a million. A million, a million of these glasses right here, and we haven't even put them up yet. People just seen them right there. There it is. Put it up there. Okay. Yeah, you. Those glasses right there. You want a pair? Just get your credit card ready. Yeah, call that 800 number. That's right. See, you look good on children, too. You know, especially semi-retarded children. Retarded? You no, know, I'm just kidding. You know, just a little jokey, jokey. You know, <laughs> let's give them the, the seal of approval. Yay, the seal of approval. Okay, folks, here we go. These are, this is the uh, aquarium video and the fireplace video. Just hold the fireplace video up there. Here we go. That's right. That turns your TV into a fireplace. Okay, uh, let's let's just show them how it works. Man, this is a hot item, boy. You, you, you've been wondering how you're going to get a fireplace in the double wide. Now, you, now you, this is your answer right here. And it's romantic and... It's in stereo sound, too. We've sold thousands and thousands of these. Got the crackle snap and the pop. Just just take a listen. I'm going to be quiet now. You just enjoy the fire. And order now. Let's make your TV turn into an aquarium. That's right, an aquarium. You can put any kind of music you want in while you have this aquarium on. You can use the music that's on it 
or you can take and use any kind of music you want. Are you still listening, Jewel? Here is the Cat Adventure video. Okay? Okay. That's cool. See those cats? See those cats watching that video? Well, you just watch those cats watching that video right now. Free frames! They told me to do that. Free frames! Do you love your cat? Thanks to the Cat Adventure video, you never have to leave them home alone again. This video was developed exclusively for your feline friends. It features the sights and sounds cats love to watch. Watch our experts as they enjoy the show. The Cat Adventure video received two paws up in Cats Magazine. The video comes with a satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Man, is that neat. I love my cat. I'm going to order one of those today. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Man, I'm holding the microphone. I'm holding the remote. I'm holding everything. Here's the product right here. Billy Bob Boogie. That's right, the Billy Bob Boogie CD. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, looks like my cousin on there. That's right. Yeah, the Billy Bob Boogie CD. You know, you heard it on the video, Billy Bob Boogie. Well, you can buy the CD, too, by the guy that wrote the Billy Bob Boogie. And he's also got a bunch of other tunes and a bunch of other CDs, which we're going to show you right now on the screen. Hey, 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 it's, it's music time here. We got Ain't It Funky Now by the guy that wrote the Billy Bob Boogie. You know, Tom Altridge, he does a great job. Hey, we're going to play you some cuts from some of these doggone tunes here. I think you'll love it. Order now. Order now. That's what they are. Jump food junkies. Every night and day. Cause you can't remember where you parked your car, moving your coat back at the bar, bar, three blocks from home. Some cop will get you on the radar. on the screen now take a look it's the retired princess boy she's probably coming coming up from florida for this special occasion comes in a box with a nameplate and everything man that's a really good price on princess too you know you better grab up on this one while they last hey and what's coming next is uh aaron aaron the beanie baby yep oh, oh hey, that irish guy you know aaron he comes in a box too this custom nameplate and and at the bottom of the screen see we can get you any beanie baby you want we beanie baby capital of the world here at the Billy Bob Port Sale. Just give us a call, check the website, call us up when you need Beanie Babies. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for visiting with us at the Benny Bass Port Sale. Well, excuse me, it's the Billy Bob Port Sale, hosted by Benny Bass. Get kind of mixed up there, don't I? Well, who knows? Maybe pretty soon it'll be the Benny Bass Show. <laughs> okay. Okay, folks, well, listen, you just have a good time. Order as many things as you possibly can because, you know, my livelihood depends on it. And uh, from little Benny Jr. Benny and Jr. me, uh, good night, and uh, may God bless. That's right. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Take care now. And remember, order, order, order. Hey, folks, you're probably wondering, hey, what is the prize for that contest? He hasn't told us yet. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. You win a set of Billy Bob Key, all of them. Plus, you win that CD from that TA guy, Tom Aldridge, with the Billy Bob boogie on it. Yep, you get it all. Just send in those video clips, send in those pictures, and do it right away. You know, be famous. You know, we'll put you on the credits. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. Or, 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 or. Get your belly bob down. Do the belly hustle, move your belly muscle, trailer park.
rock, hip hop, take it to the top with a great big double wide, just not enough. Stick your belly out and make your backside cut. Find a little miss, ask for a kiss, put your kisses, you back, no teeth can't miss. Do the Billy Bob Boogie. The Billy Bob Boogie. The Billy Bob Boogie. I do the Billy Bob Boogie. Superheroes you can't ignore with words that make your spirit soar. Snap the picture, take a chance. Now it's time to dance, dance, dance. Up, down, all around. Get yourself up, get your belly bop down. Move your belly muscle, do the belly hustle. Trailer rock, hip hop, take it to the top. Do the belly bop boogie. The belly bop boogie. Have a ball, collect them all. The belly bop boogie. Two cats are better than one. Join in the party and have some fun. Up, down. Up, get your belly bop down. here. These are the people that were in the video. We do appreciate, well, we do appreciate all of their help. Yep, it was nice of them to be in the video, even though some of them didn't want to be in the video. Woo! I tell you, I can't wait to get to my destination. Woo-hoo! Hey, by the way, folks, there's a bunch of free stuff and on the end of the video. Yay! A commercial about a weird sprinkler, you know, and some more fun stuff. You know, so I hope you can fly through it, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm, whew, man, I'll tell you, just remember, you're a Billy Bob bird, too. Fly straight, fly high, fly around, fly all over. Yep, whoo-hoo-hoo, whoo-hoo, whoo, oh, 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 whoo, yeah. Hope you had fun. Yep. Yes, I hope you had fun, because I sure did. I'm still having fun. I'm still flying. Woo! I'm fly I hope these credits get over pretty soon, because I can't fly much longer. Woo! Remember, you, too, are a Billy Bob bird. You're a Billy Bob bird. Fly high. Fly high and fly straight and fly right. Man, I'm a dead Billy Bob bird. That was a tough close. That was a real tough close. I hope you enjoyed it. I worked hard on that close. Hard, real hard. So have a good time. If you haven't gone to sleep by now, you can go ahead and go to sleep because, folks, it's finally over. Hey, Jubal, is it my imagination? I'm waiting to, I thought this was supposed to be like a comedy or something, man. You know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for something funny to happen, man, you know? Yeah. Well, I think there's stuff on there that they, they're supposed to be funny. Yeah, well, I, I'm waiting, man. I, I just you haven't seen it yet, man. It's a bunch of people, you know, they keep talking about these teeth, man. I don't see anything wrong with these people's teeth, man. You know, they look kind of like our teeth, man. And, you know, I've been complimented on my teeth many times, so I don't see anything funny. I don't see anything weird about the teeth. I don't even know why we're watching this, man. You well, know? that's because we put it in the VCR. Well, I used to sing a song to my little boy. What's that? He's a happy, happy, happy baby boy. He's a happy, happy, happy baby boy. He's a happy baby boy. And he plays with all his toys. He's a happy, 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 capture the same moment that you must have had when you were with your, your happy little boy there. Huh? 
<laughs> he liked it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he did. Probably about he probably sang that tune when he was one month old before he had a brain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't make fun of Jubal Jr. Yeah, well, yeah, I know he is the top of his class. I mean, man, he, he, you know. I'm his daddy. And my brother is his uncle and also his cousin because he was married to Aunt Martha before they met. he met Ellie Mae. And then there's cousins and twins. What? I don't understand it either. You know, and then your dad's sister is... Is cousin Ellie. But she's also my dad's sister because on the other side of the family, we had a two-headed transplant. That's right, folks. Send in those entry forms. Send in those video clips. Be a part of Volume 2. We're in production right now. Benny and Jubal are hard at work. See you soon.